Happy New Year. You know how we do about this time. Make it rain. K. Murdoch. May all your troubles last as long as your New Year's resolutions. And yeah, 2016 was the year to remember. Some new hardware dropped and plenty new contenders. And no one exactly ran away with the crown. So without further ado, yo, let's break this down. Nintendo had a year that was strange to predict. They stopped producing Wii U's and announced the Switch. The biggest releases weren't even games that I would get. Played one level of Mario on the iOS. Sony announced 50 million PS4 sold. Xbox One sales are about half. Oculus and Vive hit the market this year, and the verdict's still out on if VR is trash. Disney quit software, which was pretty sad, cause the Disney Infinite games actually are kinda rad. Mighty Number no. 9 finally hit the stores. Developers didn't step it up, and neither did the scores. Fans wanted Mega Man, but they didn't listen. But I did the ending credits theme, so all is forgiven. Overall, games were still intense, but I noticed the increase of use in quick time events. Super light is as common as usual, quite expected. We got new Titan Balls, Dishonored, Diggers X's, Street Fighter 5 dropped. Then I had to say congratulations to Capcom for selling half a game. <laughs> Quite a hustle if you can manage to pull it off, and they did, cause I bought it, it's not bad at all. A lot of disappointment, but one game I know was hot Blizzard's dope shooter, that would be Overwatch. Great graphics and super smooth controls with huge bright characters and fun game modes. Great team mechanics you can pick up and go. Bastion's kinda OP and Roadhog's really slow. But I'm a mercy, so I can support the team. But I get my kills too. Her pistol is pretty mean, but Joe Solo plays a nightmare. I'm looking for a group, really. Well, let me get back to this. Thought the game in the year would be No Man's Sky. It promised a whole lot of cool things, but Bro Man lied. Took it back in two days, please don't ask why. Hello Games made some updates, but man, it's too late. Stardew Valley has some great balance. Salt and Sanctuary hyper like Drifter were quite a challenge. Final Fantasy 15 shut down the haters, or as I like to call it, Boy Band Simulator. But really, I enjoyed it. I thought the hype was justified. Anybody on the fence, I say it's worth a try. Pokemon Go was a certified hit, took the world by storm. Then Pokemon went, but that short burst would pay dividends soon. On the November release of Pokemon Sun and Moon Mafia 3 had some wonky controls but great story And killing races, downright gold Watch Dogs 2, inspiration was iffy The lead character looked familiar Hmm, Richie? I love the fact that the lead cat was black And those cores, all the things made the soundtrack Yo, Uncharted 4 was like watching the movie Star Wars Battlefront looked great but was booty Kids downvoted every COD trailer And everybody swore the new game would be a failure But lo and behold, Infinite Warfare Activision made loot, didn't sweat it or care I like Battlefield 1, but online was a mess to me And I can't front, I'm still playing Destiny and as for me, you know I played a lot of shows Like the UK, Scotland, Paris, and Tokyo Released a mixtape, huh? stayed out of prison And my podcast got its 10,000th listen I met Aisha Tyler, I made a couple rounds Made a lot of friends, even dropped a couple pounds Working on the next album, making sure it's fire I might be getting older, but not ready to retire Presently, brands stay ready to rock steadily And if it isn't bringing you up, you gotta let it be I pray that your endeavors forever be heavenly Peace out, kids. Here's the 2017. I'm gone. God damn that boy can sing. Neo.